Thank you, Mr. President. I am Barbara, an African trans woman, feminist, mother, sister, and daughter from East Africa, making this statement on behalf of 14 transgender, non-binary, and gender diverse activists from the global South and East. We welcome the report of the Special Rapporteur on Violence Against Women and Girls and its focus on how pseudoscientific concepts are used to justify violence against women and children, helping maintain systemic gender inequality still prevalent in our society. This critical report, however, fails to address numerous legal, social, economic challenges experienced by trans and gender diverse parents and their children. These challenges are based on transphobic biases and not only prevent proper access to family rights for trans and gender diverse persons, but also hamper their ability to receive help in the context of domestic abuse. We want to draw attention to the crucial role that intersectionality within the special procedure systems play when addressing different lived experiences to shed light upon our children's safety and well-being. For example, transgender women who have exercised parental authority over their children risk losing it when their transition is used as an, as an argument against their ability to exercise motherhood. As a trans mom, I want to ask how Special Rapporteur will ensure that trans mothers and our experiences have equal possibilities to engage with the mandate's continued work on supporting women and children undergoing discriminatory custody cases. I thank you.